Hello everybody. Working on a little video today. I'm trying to get some stuff done. We got a bunch of stuff knocked out. This morning I got to uh, go get my truck inspected. Get my tag renewed. Y'all know how that stuff works. Them things you have to do every year whether you want to do it or not. Well, that's what we're doing this morning. I'm not going to film it, obviously, because, well, that would just be silly. But I figured I'd make a little intro while I was going. So welcome to all the new subscribers. We're going to get the truck inspected, and we got some other stuff. We'll be back in a minute. All right. We got the, uh, got the Hopper Mobile inspected. Got my tag renewed and all that stuff. You know, the good stuff you have to do whenever you don't want to do it. Even though you don't want to do it. We got all that took care of. I've been working on a bunch of stuff trying to get some things done. We'll try to film just a little bit right quick. Uh, know whether y'all can see that real good or not. I know when this video goes out, the fella that belongs to us it. We, uh, <clears throat> I fired it up. I got your bar and chain put on. Got the other chain made. Fired it up this morning and the, <clears throat> the pull start wasn't wanting to uh, go back in all the way like it's a little gummy. So uh, I'm just pulling the side cover off. I'm going to spray a little uh, lube up in there and wind it up a little bit more. Just try and make a couple quick clip videos. Get y'all something out there. I have to keep an eye on my phone so much. Because it just stops working and it loses my video. Y'all know what's going on. I got to get with the phone company and figure out how we're going to take care of it. But I think most of them, you got to get an appointment to get in there. <clears throat> so uh, I haven't. I haven't done that. It's a little, a little gummy up in there. It looks like it might be some trash and stuff up there. Spray a little bit of spray all up in there. And that grease that's in there will loosen up. What is that old, that old grease gets gets kind of gets kind of tacky. So we're trying to just spray a little bit of that stuff in there. Get a little bit on everything. Get loosened back up. <clears throat> Sometimes they don't. They don't want to cooperate. You have to do it a couple of times. Might be a lot. That rope's awful big too. I didn't put that in there. If it's a problem, I'll just change it to a smaller rope. spraying on there there we go this chip guards are not the best in the world Hope everybody's doing good out there. Uh, we've been we've been busy trying to get some stuff knocked out. <clears throat> we finally got some stuff took care of. Michael's supposed to come by Saturday, and we're gonna do some more wiring. Try to finish getting the hopper shop situated. I kind of got everything in a in a mess because we've been working on that. That makes for a bad day when you're trying to build things it's just so much stuff going on but uh i've got some more chain to make so i'm not going to film very much of this i just uh thought i'd come on and give y'all a little glimpse of what we're doing throughout the day and maybe uh make a nice video it'll be something 
something to look at anyway because I ain't been getting them out near like I want to, but there's been so many people here. It's been hard for me to get anything out. <clears throat> but uh, we're going to try to get some stuff going. But I'm going to stop it off and I'll bring you back here directly when we're making chains. But we got some uh, chains to make for Nick Pixel and Simple Man and stuff like that. So uh, I'll bring you back. stuff <laughs> I'm making chains now y'all seen me do this the other day so I figured I'd I got a few more to make so I'm gonna cut one out I probably won't go film riveting it because it's too much trouble but uh we'll see if we turn it anyway that's gotta count it see I'll be quiet for a second let me count recording it too so y'all got to see that here listen to the face of the <laughs> if you like to now's the time to laugh at her <laughs> I know this don't look right, and y'all would be correct. It's not right. My roller chain, when he sent it to me, it had they had dropped it somewhere or something in the mail, and it busted the the, the centerpiece. The the chain's wrapped around, and it made a huge, huge mess. So we're out here trying to. I got chain dumped out on the table, and I'm just trying to. Unwrap it just as much as possible so uh, we can make some change. Tommy's taking pulleys off the lawnmower so we can clean the rust off there. We'll be eating the belt up. Seven, eight, nine, ninety, and one, 
Y'all having fun yet? Yeah, this ain't this ain't making it easy insulation installation, I can guarantee you. But we will persevere. We will get it done. One way or the other. record I changed my mind. I went and got the, the, the chain setter and brought it out here since it's such a nice day. I can hear the birds singing in the background, I'm sure. It is one more of a beautiful day. That's one thing I don't like about this chain spinner. It rolls the daggum chain up. So it makes it really, really hard to get it where it needs to be. You need to build this chain spinner with a latch on either side to latch the darn chain to these little wheels 
so it doesn't pull I need to just go and do it myself quit waiting on somebody else to do it just do it that's the worst thing is having to wait for somebody to invent something you know that needs to be invented just go and invent it yourself and be done with it that's probably what I'm going to wind up doing Now, I know somebody's going to probably ask, so I'm going to walk over here and show you. This is the new set. That's the chain set. See how it's high right there? This is the outside plate. So when you get ready to make your chains, you cut it and you leave the, the rivet hole sticking out from the drive link put that in there put that in there and they usually don't stay on there very well but I'm hoping this will cooperate and you set your your strap or your outside link on there and that's what we're putting in the that's what we're putting in the spinning press and then you put pressure against the anvil, and the anvil's got a little groove cut in it. And as you roll it, you put tension on it, and it rolls the rivet over the edge of the strap and sets it. That one looks real nice. I'm still learning this one. This one's fairly new to me. So... The feel of this one's a little bit different than the original that I had. But I'm making some pretty nice rivets with it. That one right there. That's how we're making chain. So uh, we're going to keep making some. and uh, I probably ought to just make a video because I think it's long enough. So... Uh, we're going to end this one for now. We'll see you Saturday on the live feed. They'll hop her out.